it is okay by our laws to kill somebody, does that make it right? Well, of course not. Because there is a God in heaven that decides right from wrong. Shouldn't we be getting the basis or the foundation of our laws here on earth based on what God says is right and wrong? Wouldn't that make sense? Is there a Christian today that you could say, I believe the Bible, I believe God's word, I believe the Lord in heaven is God. And I believe that God determines right from wrong. And you're going to stand here and tell that to my face, but then say, well, we shouldn't have any laws that actually follow what God said the law should be. Where is your authority? Are you just going to go with the times and just say, well, that was a long time ago. We shouldn't do that anymore. Why? And, and this and I just want to make sure we're clear. People get so blinded by thinking that what well, you just hate because they're different from you. So you just want to hate people because they're different from you and you're ignorant and you just don't like it. No, that's not it at all. The reason why I think homosexuals should be put to death is because that's what God instituted in his law. And I would like to live in a place that follows God's word as a pattern for our laws. Because I love God and I love the Bible and I think that he knows more than any man knows on right and wrong. So when the Bible gives these judgments, that's what they ought to be. And people today will look at you like you're insane and crazy and you're extreme and in this minority when it really, if anyone who knows history at all knows that this isn't even far at all from what societies have enacted in the past, and not just in the nation of Israel, but even going back to the United States, sodomy has been against the law for a really long time. It wasn't until recently that it was actually taken off the books. Now, it may not have been enforced very much, but it was early on in the, in the early days of the founding of this country. People all want, you know, the same Christians that want to say, oh, we're a Christian nation, right? The founding fathers were Christians, and they, you know, this is the work of God. The same people that, that want to tout that all day long are going to be ignorant to the fact that they don't want to look at, well, what were the laws really like in the colonies? What were the laws really like in the early days of the United States when it was supposedly founded on God's word or through the providence of God? Why don't you look at those before you start saying how crazy we are in the New Testament days and, you know, that's, you know, that was so long ago. Well, you know what? The people who you claim to be the righteous people started in this country had laws on the books against these things. It was a crime. And it wasn't because they're, oh, they just don't understand. Love is love. Yeah, our science and technology has taught us so much about the sodomite that this concept... Well, they just love someone. Never occurred to anybody that maybe, maybe it's just that they love each other. I know that so many people want to put forth the notion that, you know, a hundred years ago or two hundred years ago or a thousand years ago, people were just cavemen banging on rocks. <laughs> love, oh, no love, oh. But that's, that's a fallacy. It's not true. They understood what love is. And they understood what perversion is. And they understood when God says something is worthy of death because it's that bad, they believed it. And when you see the predators that are out there defiling children, and you see these perverts, they are perverts, and they cannot be healed. It is not something you can be restored from. A reprobate that once you're rejected, that's it for you. Once you're born of the devil, once you are a child of Satan, there is no being unborn from that just as much as there's no being unborn from being a child of God. 
There's no hope. There's no remedy.